have got to tell you that on my way to the post office to pick up my mail from my P.O. box, which was amazing, I, whoo, that got me really good. I honestly don't even know if I can continue to film those because that is really extremely difficult for me to watch myself and edit. Um, so we can talk about that another time. That's not the purpose of this video. The point is, on the way there, I discovered a new Dollar Tree, and yeah, I'm going to insert the actual footage because I have recorded myself, my reaction to this new Dollar Tree, so I'm going to insert that at the end of this video and a ton of pictures that I took from Dollar Tree, so all those are going to be at the end, but I am so excited to share this Dollar Tree with you, as I always am. But this one has a lot of Christmas stuff. It's like mostly Christmas stuff, and I had pocket letters in mind. I had... Um, my calendar advent bags, advent calendar bags, I don't know which one goes first, but I've been doing my Christmas advent calendar bags on my channel and I am going to be doing bags 17 through 20 today, so hopefully I get that up soon. I also was picking up items for my planner and just kind of little random things here and there, so I want to share that with you guys. You know what, let's go ahead and get started because I really don't have like any interesting story to tell you, although just to clear up, in my fan mail video, I talked about how there were strange people in my backyard who just let themselves in. They were all over the place installing new gutters on my house, took down my Christmas lights that my stepdad and I worked really, really, really hard on. And yes, they came to the wrong house. They had the wrong address. They didn't have the wrong address. They just came to the wrong house. So I guess that stuff happens although it was extremely nuts and crazy and they did have to finish the job they had they cuz by the time I got home they were halfway through and so they had to finish cutting and installing the rest of the gutters and no I absolutely did not have to pay for that 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 would be ludicrous um but they were completely responsible for putting that up paying for it and installing my lights back up which they did the lights are pointing out which I am happy to report and so that's it. Let me think, do I have anything else to say? Do I have anything else to say? Do I have anything else to say? No, my dog is sleeping over here. She's snoring. So pretty much the usual, nothing really going on. Let's go ahead and get started and I'm going to start this off with some wrapping paper that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Now, I don't normally purchase wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree just because I'm very picky about my wrapping paper. And I have hauled plaid wrapping paper from Big Lots this year, which I'm absolutely in love with. Although the quality of it's a little too thin for me and a little too cheap, but oh well. Um, but I do have some Christmas wrapping ideas in mind using Dollar Tree items. So I'm really excited to share that with you because I can't wait to wrap this stuff and put it underneath my tree and make it look all gorgeous Dollar Tree style. So anyway, I got some plain brown paper wrapping, which I've hauled before. I have it somewhere. I just can't find it. So I just got a new one just in case. I also picked up a Disney one. Now this has Elsa on it, but I didn't pick this up so that I could wrap presents in this and put it under the tree because we just... I mean, Frozen was a great movie, loved it, um, but we're not having this stuff under our tree. But I did pick this up with my calendar advent bags in mind. I'm going to do a Frozen theme, so I am excited about that, and I can't wait to share that with you guys. The next two are really surprising from the Dollar Tree. This is just like a plain white one, which I thought was really great because it's like universal, although it's picking up a little like orange. So I'm sorry about that, and or yellow. And then this one was really surprising, like a good red with some snowflakes and like different pattern snowflakes. So a lot that you can do with this. Doesn't actually go with my specific theme, but I have so many cute ideas for this that I had to get this to share this, this with you guys. I have a woodlands, winter, rustic, cabin, you know the words, I've said it like a million times. But that's my style plaid, all that kind of stuff. And this really doesn't fit too much for me. Although I can add some things to this specific pattern to make it fit like burlap and, you know, reindeer ornaments, stuff like that. So I'm going to try to make this work. So let's go ahead and take a look in this bag. 
Oh yeah. Okay, so I picked up some of this. Now, if you've seen these in my videos, it's because the one that I picked up was from the Target Dollar Spot. And in the Target Dollar Spot, they only offer those three colors that I have seen. So what I liked about this was that I got four rolls and I got gold. I don't normally use silver in my Christmas decor because those three are my colors so I was really happy about this and I was super excited that I found this at the Dollar Tree. I also picked up these little green miniature bows. You guys saw this in my planner video with my Grinch theme and I used one of these bows to decorate a paper clip so that I could use it as a page marker in my planner. I didn't actually get these for that in mind whatsoever. I got these for wrapping presents. I love how cute and small they are. And I think you got about nine, three, yeah, nine of these bows in here. Not related to Christmas whatsoever, but I got these six clasp envelopes. These are a great envelopes for pocket letters. So if you are doing pocket letters, this is a really great shipping package to use to do that. It doesn't weigh that much and pocket letters fit perfectly in these. If you don't know what a pocket letter is, go check out one of my videos. I have a video on pocket letters. I just uploaded one where I did an actual tutorial of like a winter wonderland theme. So I got some of these so that I could send pocket letters to my pals. I'm really sorry for like the blinding glow right here. I can't help it. So Okay, so the next thing that I want to share with you are just some bags that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I love their gift accessories, all of that at the Dollar Tree. I stock up and I put it in my little entryway t like table. It's got drawers in it and I store all my stuff in there. So I picked up some of these red ones. This is a great, great item for my specific decor. It's just has this really great like barnyard red. It's not too bright, it's not too maroon, and it has like the little like straw handles, so I really like that. And there's a ton of different ways to decorate this, which I'll be doing on my channel. And then I picked up this bag, hello, didn't know they made a bag for this. This has been my favorite print from the Dollar Tree this year. I'm in love, and I've seen so many different items for this. It's just insane, a sign. 10 cans, boxes, bags. What else did they have in this? They had something else too, but there was just so much in this pattern I'm probably forgetting, but the front is glittery. You can see his little body is glittery, and then the back is just plain, but hello, had to get that. This one, I just was so drawn to it. I don't know, as cute little snowmen. Snowmen really aren't like my thing for decorating, but they're woodlands a little bit, right? If there would have been some like pine trees in the background, that would have been really cool. But this is still super pretty. The words are spelled correctly. Mm -hmm. The words are spelled correctly. So that's just some of the things that I check for at the Dollar Tree because it never fails. I'm like, why is that just a dollar? There's got to be a reason. So, um, I mean, I checked it doesn't smell like it's laced in poison. It looks good. It's spelled correctly. There's no bugs in here. I mean, for a dollar, this is pretty amazing. Now, this is something from the new Dollar Tree that I discovered that I'll show you at the end of the video and have never seen this at any of my Dollar Trees, but I thought it was really cool. And they are Santa-inspired decorative bows. This is really cute. Could go on your tree. Could be decor could go on presents, could go on wreaths. I mean, it's just so incredibly cute. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but if I don't find anything to do with these this year, you better bet your pajamas that I will find something next year. Something else that I got that I thought was really cute are these little bracelets. They have obviously different color bracelet handles and then the little bell, but I liked the silver and red combo. It just looked the nicest out of the ones that I saw. I don't know what I'm going to do with this entirely, but this would actually be really cute to hang on your tree as an ornament. 
So, or this could go in your calendar advent bags. This is, could go in your stocking stuffer. You could wear this. If you are going to work and you guys are doing like a ugly Christmas sweater party or whatever, this would be cute to either put on your sweater, to wear on your wrist, to be extra jolly. Heck, if you've got a long ride home in the car from work, slip this stuff on and just jingle a freaking tune. That's what I'd be doing. So, love this is so cute have really not seen this at any of my dollar trees except the one close to the post office so i thought this was really cool when i was thinking about the rest of my christmas calendar advent bags which i've done backwards yet again i don't know what to call it but i knew that one of the themes i had to do frozen i thought that it would be really cute even though my daughter's you know a teenager but we still love that movie so I thought this would also be great for all of my mamas out there that have little ones and that love Frozen. Frozen is huge, you guys. So I figured why not do a calendar advent bags that are that's going to give inspiration to all of my moms out there with little ones. So this is for you guys. And that is why I hauled the wrapping paper. But then I saw this stuff today at my Dollar Tree and I thought, oh my gosh, that would be perfect for a bag. Now, this is actually really cool because it goes on your door. I think it's a door hanger. I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like it would go on a door or something like that and it has a cute little silver bell and it has some glitter on here and you've got Elsa and Anna on here. I'm actually going to be removing this from the ornament or door hanger and using this for my calendar advent bag. So I thought this was really cool. And then I saw this and it's this little tin can and you get 30 cotton swabs in here for your ear, okay? So you've got cotton swabs in a reusable tin and I thought, what if I take the cotton swabs out, put those in my bathroom, use those, and use the tin to put a little gift inside of it and put the tin inside the calendar advent bag. Hello? I mean, is that not the cutest thing in the world? Sorry for the glare. I'm probably gonna put like cash in here or I'm not entirely sure what's going to go in here just yet, but I thought this would be perfect for that idea. A couple more Disney items I have been searching for Disney things here and there because I know I wanna do a Disney theme in my Happy Planner. And that's another thing that I do here on my channel and I'm not lying, you guys. It's slowly turning out to be one of my favorite videos to share with you guys. I love my planner. I've always been a planner girl, but the Happy Planner really makes me happy. It's so amazing. And even though I overspent by $15 because I could have gotten it for $15 at Hobby Lobby, I spent 30. Mm, but even then that's worth every penny because I'm in love with it. Cinderella is my favorite, in case you want to know, Cinderella is my favorite. I'm really surprised by that because she wasn't my favorite until I saw the movie recently, like the new movie, which I'm in love with. Ever since then, I've been hooked on Cinderella. I always, I guess before her, I really liked Aurora. I really liked that storyline and I loved that her dresses changed from pink to blue, so I really loved that. I digress. I have been on the search for Disney stuff for my planner and I found these. And this was at that Dollar Tree that I just recently discovered. They are four little notepads and look at the princesses that you get. You don't get them all and I wish they had them all, but you get Cinderella, Aurora, Ariel, and Belle. So these would be really great in a planner to write little extra notes on to use these as decorations. And look how much you get in here. And there's, there's quite a bit of paper in here for each of those little notepads. So I was excited to find this. And then I found this at my Dollar Tree. Sticker set from Jasmine, who's another favorite. She's probably really close to Cinderella. I love, 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 love Jasmine. And she is just gorgeous. I mean, hello. I just can't even handle it. But anyway, so these stickers at Hobby Lobby by Disney run over $5. And when I saw this at Dollar Tree, I said, excuse me, what? I found Disney stickers at the Dollar Tree. I'm loving it. I am loving it. More Disney are more stickers. We all know what this is for. If you don't, go watch the rest of my videos to find out. And 
These are going to go in my stockings, and I'm not going to lie, this is probably going to be my favorite thing in my stocking. Mm -hmm. Yep. Next set of items that I'm going to share with you, I picked up in mind with like wrapping. I really want to see how gorgeous, it's like a challenge for me, I really want to see how gorgeous I can make wrapping from the Dollar Tree. I have seen this a couple times, I don't know if you guys have, I've always passed it by, but I thought this may look cute. I don't know if I'll end up using him or not, but I got Santa. I don't know if this is a surprise to you guys, if you're going, wow, from the Dollar Tree? Um, I've never seen this before in past seasons, but I have seen it this season. And I liked this Santa because he actually has little like glasses on, whereas there are a couple of Santas that don't. So I picked him specifically for the glasses. So he's really cute. He could look great on a tree. He could look great on presents stockings like hanging over your stockings stuff like that so and then I picked up some of these for wrapping as well the this color combo was the one that appealed to me most but they have a bunch of different like combinations with ribbon the flower and the bell as well so this one looked the best and then I picked up this one they had same thing different combination and colors of stars and the bell and I liked the red star with the green little bell so again this could be for a bag package for Christmas or wrapping a box so I cannot wait to to do this you guys I can't even handle it and then I picked up two of these even though these are not my colors I've talked about this white and silver are a little modern for me it's gorgeous I have seen tons of people decorate like this and I absolutely love it um, it's just not the way that I decorate but I couldn't even help myself with these because they are so pretty you get one white and one silver and then they have uh, opposites of the bell so I am absolutely loving this I cannot wait to use this for wrapping this is for the calendar advent bag but I picked up some of these little gum packages I mean is it really worth a dollar no like I've talked about this I say to myself when I pay a dollar for this at Walmart if I say no I shouldn't buy it this is one of those things where I'm like no that's too much for adult for I mean, it's not enough for a dollar. I don't even know what the right word I'm trying to say is. But the package is kind of cute, and I was already there, and she loves this flavor. So I'm like, okay, it'll be a cute little size to put in her calendar advent bag or even in her stocking. So I'll probably pick up more for her stocking, but I picked this up in mind for the calendar advent bags. Then I picked this up for my pocket letters. I thought this was really cool, and they're just alphabet beads. And I could spell out tons of things with this. So look how much you get in here. And I thought this would be really cool to include in pocket letters. Don't you guys think so? This would also be cool for your calendar advent bag. You could spell things out with that too. You could string it on like twine and whatever. Yarn, it doesn't matter. So I thought this was really cool for that. Last but not least are stickers. Even though I don't have anything overly exciting. I really don't. So I'm not even going to hype it up. I just got two sets of these alphabet stickers you guys have seen me haul these before but i've never hauled green i've never seen this silver and i picked up the silver because i thought it would look amazing on the frozen elsa calendar advent bag i'm sorry for the glare but i thought this would look really great for that and then i think i've had a subscriber send me this package or no or she sent me a picture of it and i thought that it was absolutely gorgeous on instagram and i was like wow that's so amazing and i finally found some so i picked up this one because it was my favorite set of words i forgot two items oops so i saw these at this new dollar tree that i've never been to um if anybody knows how to use these let me know but i'll show it with you it says it's a dispenser and you open it, and I got two different colors, okay? They had multiple other colors. I think they had pink and purple. And then you open it like this. Do you guys see this? And then you go, like, I'm not sure, what do I put in this? But I thought this was really cool for traveling, but I don't, I guess it could be anything, right? Obviously, I guess you could put any kind of liquid in here. Um, maybe not toothpaste but you could put shampoo conditioner is that what this is for i'm just not under i'm not sure i understand this thing like i don't i don't get it so can somebody in the description box below let me know what this is all about so that's my dollar tree haul for you guys today i cannot wait 
to challenge myself and do this Christmas wrapping with Dollar Tree items. I'm so excited about it. And thank you guys for watching my video as always. And of course, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have found the biggest Dollar Tree I've ever seen in my entire life. Never been here before. I'm having heart palpitations. I am literally freaking out. I feel like I have discovered a pirate's buried treasure. That's what I feel like. Mm -hmm. So much, I don't even know what to look at. I don't even know what to do. I cannot even believe the selection of Disney stuff for birthdays. Cupcake liners, a snack stand, placements. Look at these cute little friggin' boxes. I just, I don't even know what to do with myself. Look at this. Oh my god, I want this for me. I'm gonna make cupcakes and do this. They have Mod Podge at the Dollar Tree. That is pretty cool. I mean, there's a really good chance I may start crying in public. Together.